eclipse. I've had the privilege to see two other total solar eclipses and to share this excitement and the joy of NASA science um, with the nation is just amazing. Dr. Kelly Kurek is an astrophysicist and NASA's program manager for the eclipse. As millions of Americans get ready to witness the total solar eclipse in person, Dr. Kurek says NASA scientists are preparing for a busy day, conducting experiments, looking at everything from how the outflows of the sun impact our power grid to the eclipse's effect on the ionosphere, the charged layer of the Earth's atmosphere where all communications go through. Folks studying with ham radios bouncing signals off of it to see how far the signal can go because it'll change due to the eclipse. We're also, we are also launching three sounding rockets into the eclipse. So there's one before, during, and after, and that will go up again and study that ionosphere layer to make sure that we understand its reactions to both the eclipse and space weather. And while the U.S. had a total solar eclipse just seven years ago, it won't happen again until 2044 and 2045, much further when you're talking about specific cities and states. Eclipses are relatively common on Earth. They happen around every 18 months somewhere on Earth. However, in your specific location, it's between 400 and 1,000 years that you'll get this experience. So pack up the kids, grab the solar eclipse glasses, and pray for Mother Nature to cooperate for the big show on Monday. It really is stories that you'll tell for years to come. And when it comes to the proper solar eclipse glasses, you want to make sure they are certified and have ISO 12312 dash two on them. Reporting in the newsroom, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5. All right, Matt, thank you. News Center 5 will have live coverage from across New England as the eclipse becomes visible here. You can join us starting at 3 p.m.